Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So you may have already seen some YouTube videos covering the latest NMN human trial. Long videos considering it's only a 12 week study and the results were fairly unremarkable. I'm just going to stick to the facts. Let's get into the results of the latest NMN trial. A research team from the Tsukaba University in Japan published their NMN study findings in Nutrients. Nutrients is a peer reviewed open access journal of human nutrition. And there's a link in the description below to the study. Let's take a look at the study details in more depth. As we age, our sleep quality dissipates, facilitating cognitive decline and ultimately depressive moods and states of mind. The result in depression and diminished cognition may lead to a snowball effect of falling out of shape whilst also becoming frail. Age associated frailty further increases the probability of falls and diseases such as metabolic disorders and cardiovascular ailments. The research team compared the effects of taking 250 milligrams of NMN daily in either the morning or in the afternoon. And the study was conducted over a 12 week period. Study participants were 65 years of age and those using too much caffeine, having too much stress and or taking sleep medication or antidepressants were excluded from the study. After applying these exclusion criteria, the 108 participants were split into four groups of 27. They were an NMN morning group, an NMN afternoon group, and two corresponding placebo groups. To find out whether supplementing with NMN improves sleep quality, the team used the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index. Some of you may remember this. It was also used during the Japanese safety trial. This analytical tool has been proven reliable in measuring subjective sleep quality by examining sleep duration, sleep disturbance, daytime dysfunction, sleep quality, and sleep efficiency. The results showed that afternoon NMN improves sleep duration and quality as shown by the lower sleep disturbance score. Feel free to pause the video and check the numbers in more detail. To find out whether NMN supplementation during the afternoon also improved the overall quality of life, the Japanese based research team measured indices of fatigue. They found that drowsiness significantly decreased along with mental dullness and total fatigue. Reductions in drowsiness and fatigue can enhance concentration and the capability to perform cognitive tasks. Improvements in sleep also positively affected measurements of physical function for the afternoon NMN group. For example, a physical fitness test showed that the duration from sitting to standing consecutively five times improved significantly when the NMN was administered in the afternoon. The timed up and go exercise also improved substantially. This data may show that NMN in the afternoon improves overall sleep and physical function, which may positively impact mood and diminish potential age-related depression. So taking NMN in the afternoon appears to significantly improve sleep, reduce drowsiness and improve some performance of physical tasks. These type of improvements may also impact a person's day to day attitude, which may then improve one's quality of life and may extend the number of years that they live in overall good health. And we know this as health span. That said, the data from the study is not the most impressive. There is statistically significant data showing that NMN improves physical function, such as the five times sit to stand exercise. The bottom line is that NMN improves physical function and subjective sleep scores. However, this correlation may not be causally linked. The only way to show whether this correlation actually exists is to provide more tangible sleep related data showing that NMN enhances, for example, the duration of dream sleep. The data provided in this study 
is somewhat repetitive of previous studies that have shown that NMN does improve physical function in humans, which in my humble opinion is still a positive result. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. I know that David Sinclair takes his NMN in the morning and the theory there is to bolster the normal high levels of NAD that come along as part of our circadian rhythm. I take mine at noon. I know that if I take it much later than three in the afternoon, it will disrupt my sleep at night. And if I take it early in the morning, six or seven or eight o'clock, I know that I will feel drowsy sometime in the afternoon. If I am coming to three or four in the afternoon, and I haven't taken it, I will probably skip it for that day because I know I will have a terrible night's sleep. Let me know in the comments below if you take NMN and if you've noticed either disturbance to your sleep or drowsiness in the afternoon, if you change the time of day that you take your NMN. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to your comments in the uh, comment section below. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.